In this tutorial, you will learn about JavaScript object prototype. In JavaScript, every function and object has its own property called prototype. Let's create one object. Const person and this person will have name Elon. So this is one simple object with only one property that is name. But this person object has one more property called prototype. Let's see this person object in the console. We will add console.log person. And you can see in the console tab, here it is displaying one object name Elon, right? But if I expand it, you can see the property name Elon. But here we have one more property called prototype. And the prototype is also an object. A prototype itself is also another object. So the prototype has its own prototype. Let's expand this prototype again and expand any of this. You can see here again we have the prototype. Let's expand another one. Here also we have prototype. So the prototype has its own prototype. This create a prototype chain. Now let's learn prototype inheritance. We can use the prototype to add properties and methods to a constructor function. And objects inherit the properties and methods from a prototype. Let's see the previous example of constructor function. So this is one constructor function with two parameters and the two properties first name and last name. Now previously we were adding like person one that is one object. And in this object, we can add new property like this person dot age. So it will add a new property in the person one object. But here we want to add one property in the constructor function. Like we have the person constructor function. So we cannot add one property like this in the constructor function. And we cannot add a method in the constructor function like this. After declaration of the constructor function, we cannot add the extra properties or method like this to add the another property or method in the constructor function. After declaration, we can use the prototype. Here we have only two property in this constructor function. So let's add one more property. So to add one property in this constructor function, we will add the function name person, then prototype like this and in this prototype we will add one new property name so let's add the property name gender and the value is male so using this we can add one new property in the person constructor function now let me create object also so i will use the const keyword and object name so the object name is person1 and create an object using new operator and the function name and pass two values and we will create one more object so duplicate this it will be person2 and different value so we have two object person1 and person2 now let's see whether the newly added property is available in the person1 and person2 or not. So let's add console.log person1 object and see the output in the console tab. Here it is displaying first name Elon, last name Musk. Here we have only two properties, but we have added the another one gender which is not available here. But if I expand it and come to the prototype here we have the prototype and open this prototype here you can see our newly added property gender male in this prototype so you can see how you can add a new property in the prototype and this prototype property will be inherited by all the object now let's see the output for the person one dot gntr gender and see the output here it is displaying male because the object is inheriting the properties of the prototype. Now let's see the output when we access the person2 for the second person object. 
let's access the gender and you can see it is displaying male again here we have added gender property in the person constructor function using prototype and this person1 and person2 objects inherit the gender property from the constructor function prototype gender property is not available in the person1 and person2 object you can see in the console but still we can access it because it is added in the prototype which is here now let's see how to add one method in the constructor function so here we have added one gender property so instead of this we will add one method let's add method with the name get full name and this method will be a function definition so in this function we will return the full name so write return this dot first name and space this dot last name so in this person constructor function we are adding one method using the prototype and this method name is get full name this method will return the first name and last name of the person so let's see the output of the person 1 in the console tab you can see it is displaying first name and last name in this console but if i expand it here you can see we have the prototype and if i expand this prototype you can see in the person 1 prototype it is displaying get full name method you can see the get full name method is here so this get full name method is not added in this person 1 or person 2 this person 1 and person 2 object is inheriting this method from the prototype of the constructor function so we can access it like this get full name person 1 dot get full name let's see the output it is printing elon musk now we can access this get full name from the person 2 also and see the output it is displaying bill gates let's understand this example again here we have created one constructor function with only two properties after declaration of the constructor function we cannot directly add new property or method in this function but to add the new property or method we will use the prototype so we are adding person dot prototype and the method name method is a function declaration so we are adding function and this function will return the first name and last name now here we are creating two objects with the constructor function person1 and person2 now this person1 and person2 does not have the get full name but still we can access the get full name method from person1 and person2 because it is inheriting the prototype of the constructor function so we can access person2 dot get full name and we can also access person1 dot get full name now let's see what will happen if i change the prototype value so let's create one constructor function here we will add one property elon musk and in this one we will add one new property using prototype so we will add person dot prototype and the new property name age is equal to 25 so we have added one new property in the prototype that is age is equal to 25 now we will create one object so to create an object we will use the const keyword and the object name it is person1 and 
new then constructor function so this will create one new object that is person1 so here we have created one new object called person1 after creating this object let's change the value of this property so in the next line we will add person dot prototype is equal to age 52 like this earlier we have added age 25 and here we are changing the prototype property age 52 so after changing again we are creating one new object const person 2 new and constructor function so before changing the property we have created one person 1 object and after changing the prototype we have created person 2 object now let's see the output in the console tab so we will add log person 1 and person 2 and you can see it in the console tab it is displaying name elon musk in both object but if i try to access age and age in the second object so you can see the output for the person 1 it is displaying is 25 and for person 2 it is displaying is 52 because if a prototype value is changed then all the new objects will have the changed property value and all the previously created objects will have the previous value so in this example you can see here we have the property value 25 and created one object person 1 in this person 1 object age value will be 25 and before creating person 2 we have changed the property so this person 2 will have the updated property value that will be 52 that's why it is printing 25 for the person 1 age and 52 for the person 2 age so this was all about javascript prototype i hope this video will be helpful for you if you have any question you can ask me in the comment section please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel great stack to watch more videos like this one thank you so much for watching this video